Hey, it's Maria Papathanasio covering the red carpet for the New York City International Film Festival, entering its third year at New York's legendary Angelica Film Center. We're going to be speaking with many, many people, from producers, filmmakers, and actors. Highlighting the industry's newest talent by premiering 185 films from 27 different countries. Founder Rob Rizzo tells us why this is so special. Very, very, very happy and excited with the turnaround here. And happy to have Tina and you here again supporting our festival. And there's, you know. Tell us a little bit about the films. We have about 200 films in the festival this year. This year we have about 185, yes, 185 uh, from 27 countries. And um, we have films from uh, Pakistan, sold out already. The, the, it's an incredible film. We have films from. Uh, from Argentina, from uh, China, from uh, well, all over the, almost all over the world, and great films, and None excellent, of... excellent um, short films, great selection of short films. None yeah. of this would have never been able if it wasn't for you, the creator, the man behind everything. <laughs> Thank you so much. You, you need you. to have some appreciation and some light on um, you right now. Like we have our film market, that is our third years, and so far we more than 28 movies got distribution. And this year we're trying to sell more films. The night also included a directorial premiere of Connie Stevens' Saving Grace B. Jones and a special praise to Rip Torn with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Truly a night honoring the arts. I know what it takes to put this whole thing together and it's tough, it's not easy. So I love bringing awareness to artists and letting them showcase their work. And uh, you know, I like to support other festivals as well as get their artists, other artists' work out there. This is the third year that the New York International Film Festival is here in New York. Have you been to the other two film festivals? Uh, I have not. I heard it was amazing, and I heard um, each year it's grown exponentially. Which you know, which obviously, when you stick with it, that's what happens. And to do it in a market such as New York City, it's pretty incredible. Um, my film's called Distraction. It's screening tomorrow, Friday at 5 p.m. Tell us a little bit about your film. My film is about how young people our age are always addicted to these things. That's true. <laughs> Definitely, I get inspired. Um, I really believe in like making films to deliver a message, like a positive message to people. And I meeting like young other young filmmakers, you kind of bounce ideas, and then you you guys get to be like, hey, we're, it's funny. You can talk about cameras for an hour. What lenses is good, you know? Or who's the good actors that you've been using? Or how do you get like certain permits and stuff like that for filming? Hello, Mr. Rick Torn. How are you feeling? Tiger. Lucky to be here. Tell us a little bit about the festival, and are you looking forward to catching any? I'm, you could say I'm a gardener now. I don't. I don't. Uh, no, you're just that's what they, my neighbors say. He's always in a garden, on his hands and knees. I said that show business. It's a labor of love. It's uh, after 9/11. I was here in New York. I uh, drove home and went through a town that I was uh, living there when I was 10 and a half. And I remembered a very tragic incident that happened in my life and I ran into some people that I knew and I went home, did the screenplay with a friend of mine and uh, showed it to a friend of mine. He said, you have to make this movie. And, and as you know, Connie Stevens has been instrumental, yeah, for USO forever, since the beginning of her career. She's a true movie star. She's an amazing woman. Have you ever worked with Connie? Or? No, I have not. We have not been in the same film, uh, but uh, I've been with her when she's made all her movies and and uh, watched it grow and watched her develop. And and uh, is a lady. This is a great lady. This is a lady who's done uh, far beyond what people think that she's done. You know, they don't even know half of Connie. She's a great businesswoman. She's a great person who has a, who has an eye for real estate. Uh, and uh, she has her own business, creams and so on and so forth. And now she wrote, directed, and produced this movie. So, yep, and it's yeah, and it's 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 a real good movie, a real good movie, and uh, people will be pleasantly surprised, you know, because it's a serious movie, and it's uh, I put my seal of approval on it. How does it feel to have your film as a New Yorker in the New York International Film Festival? I couldn't be happier. It's the world premiere of the film, so it is so sweet. I've got about 40 or 50 people just already just coming to it. So I feel a great responsibility to the actors and the crew who work for less than nothing on it so that they get to come and see the film and their family and support it. So opening in New York, I couldn't be happier for that.
My name is JT, I'm JT Talent. I'm a casting director, talent manager. I've done over 70 motion pictures, six in production and two studio movies, which I can actually say now. <laughs> but uh, I'm here uh, for Roberto Rizzo and Tim, and I finally moved up to motion pictures, which is, you know, as far as, you know, bigger budgets. But um, I, my heart's still with indies. I love indie films. So, Talisha, tell us a little bit about your film that you have in the festival. Okay, it's a short film. It's called The Fears of Young Caroline, and it's about a young girl who goes to the dentist, and she's terrified. So she, while she's in there, she kind of, um, there's a little fantasy sequence, and you don't really know if it's reality or it's actually happening or it's in her mind. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. How does it feel to have a film like this over here at the Angelica at this festival? Um, it's very exciting, I think, because I'm from Australia. So to be able to come over here and have that experience in New York is really good. How important is it for everyone here to have their to have this film featured in the film festival, New York International Film Festival? I think it's been great because everyone here lives in New York and everyone, uh, it's a New York production so I think it's something that we were able to all come together for and very close to home and it's exciting because this is New York. My name is uh, Faison Sheikh and I'm um, the director of My Angel, My Hero. It's a film about Parkinson's disease and how dance helps Parkinson patients. Tell us a little bit about your film, Jennifer. Uh, 846 is a 9-11 tribute film, which I created uh, 10 years later after the 9-11 attacks to pay tribute to all those who were lost and to kind of give a different perspective of the events of 9-11. The film follows all these different characters in their day-to-day -day lives and you kind of get to see who these people were, um, you know, that were affected more than just numbers, that they were real people who had hopes and dreams and, you know, things going on in their lives. So uh, it gives a real human, real, real perspective to the events of that day. When you have less of a budget, you get much more creative. So you're able to use resources that you never would think of if you just had a lot of money thrown at you. So we were basically parked on the courthouse steps of the Long Island City Courthouse for an entire Sunday waiting for the cops to kick us out while filming it, pretending it was an art museum. So completely, yeah. Beauty oh. of indie making. Yeah, I'll miss it when I have millions and millions to make a film. I really, really will. Okay, well, we look forward to your film and we'll try to catch it. Yes, thanks, Maria. It's a big leap for me, but it's something I really wanted to do. Kind of to mature as an actor and just go further with my craft. I was a doctor before becoming an actress. And uh, I, I always was fascinated by, you know, uh, that the, the loss of memory, the total loss of memory. And in my short life as a doctor, I had two uh, patients that have a black house. And uh, I don't know, I always wanted to play around with that idea. Yeah, if it, you know, imagine that in a, when you black out, you do something that will change your life for the rest. So it will change your life for the rest. So, uh, and she was actually pregnant when we shot the movie, eight months pregnant. Yeah, 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 yeah. she was. So you guys should watch the movie so you can see an actual eight-month pregnant woman. I love coming back to New York City. I lived here for many, many years, so it's always really a great thing to come back, see my friends, and to enjoy the festival as well. You know, they're very, it's got a very urban feel to it, the festivals in New York. I've been to other festivals in New York, and I love the whole eclectic group, and also the eclectic films that they normally screen. Very proud. I, I think the main thing is that um, I, I, I was here last year with Sally Kirkland, who won the Lifetime Achievement Award. And, you know, Sally's a New Yorker, I'm a New Yorker, and it's just great to see that there's a really um, homegrown support for indie film. I think it's really important that we do that and we continue to not support just filmmakers around the world but also other New York filmmakers which is really it's I a agree privilege. and I think the indie world is breaking and making waves and it's a great startup for any actor yeah absolutely it's been a great opportunity for me and I'm really grateful to everybody at the New York City International Film Festival well, yeah.